Hello, in the previous video, we were retopologizing our character model from the sculpted model. At this stage, I think I'm happy to call it done, and I'll now apply the changes. So in this video, I will just uh, finish up the, I'll just do the finishing touches to the uh, character by adding the insides of the mouth, uh, such as the tongue, the teeth, and also the uh, eyelids, and um, yeah, just doing some final touch-ups to make the character model look like a final model, which will be good for character animation. Uh, let's now finish up the model by adding in the the hands and the feet. So for the hands, I'm just going to do it quite simple. Select those three. Should I set these birds over here? Maybe even yeah, maybe even say that one. And then just uh, and then just uh, turn off the magnet tool. Let's extrude it. Actually, let's turn this off for now. And extrude this part. Scale it up a bit. Extrude this part. Move this in place. out once more straight down once more and Extrude out, extrude out. We're adding one more loop over here. Build that with a face as well. Uh, extrude it out once more. And I'm going to position this so that it goes around the arms a bit more. Maybe adding one more loop over here. Fill this up with a face. Do not one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And fill this up. Fill this one up. Fill this one up. Oops. Fill that one up. Fill that one up. Add one more loop over here. Select this, and uh, now we'll select this loop over here. Uh, we will extrude it and scale it down a bit. Extrude it. Scale it down a little uh, maybe change it and move these birds a little outwards okay extrude once more and one two three four let's fill that with a face one two three 
four, let's fill that with a face. One, two, three, four, let's fill that with a face. And I think the hands are done. I'm not gonna put too much focus on the hands in this in this course, so that's why the topology is not so important as well in this one. Uh, there's something looking a little odd with that one, so let me just fix that up. Maybe it'll make it look a bit more square. Okay, so the most important thing that I did with this is just to extrude out here so that it goes around like so. That's how topology works. And then just create a loop that goes around um, the thumb and then just extrude the thumb, that, that thumb loop around so that it fill, fills in this. Very simple, that's not actually how a hand topology should be, but for the brevity of this tutorial, that's how I want to do it. Legs also, I'm not going to spend too much time, so let's just quickly do the legs as well while I'm here. So legs are really simple, topology not so important as long as you just fill it up. And I think for the most part that is now done. So the legs are now done, the arms are now done, the body is pretty much done. So that's looking pretty good so far. Alright, so let's start with the insides of the mouth. So let's go ahead now and apply the retopology. Um, so with the retopologized model selected, um, I will go ahead now and uh, uh, I'll apply the mirror, I'll apply the subsurf, and I'll also apply the shrink wrap. So now the retopologized model will be a model on its own. So I can move it away from the sculpted model and we can see that it is now a standalone model on its own. You can see the topology difference of both these models. Clearly you can see which one will be good for animation, in particular character animation, and also which is which one is more optimized. This model here has way too many verts. This character is going to unnecessarily use up a lot of memory for no reason, because it's not really optimized. Whereas this one has far less verts. Um, and also, the topology on this makes it quite difficult to set up facial animation and things like that. Then I want to go and tab into edit mode. Hit Z on your keyboard to go into wireframe mode and select the last loop that we created for the mouth, which should be that one there. Now uh, in edit mode, I'm going to go ahead and extrude, make sure that also the magnet tool is turned off, the snap tool, um, and then go ahead and press E, Y. Okay, I also want to, I don't, I don't want to see any of this other stuff because that's going to get in the way of us modeling the mouth. So select all the vertices that you that can be hidden. Uh, maybe we'll just leave these ones. And then just hit H to hide it. So now we only see the parts of the head that we want to see. Okay, so let's now go back and select the uh, loop that we just extruded. Which should be that one. And I'm just going to go ahead and shape it uh, so that it starts to become a bit more overly. So, okay, once you've done that, go ahead and select that loop and extrude it once more. So E, and then press S, Z to scale it on the Z axis. And you want this to be uh, quite large, sorry, S, Z, to be about as large as you want the inside of the mouth to be. Okay, and then go in uh, from the back view and shape it out to have this kind of uh, oval-like shape. like so. Okay, select that outer loop again, and in side view, actually I might just shape that out a bit more, okay. In side view, extrude out once more, rotate it a little bit, scale it down a bit, and then extrude once more, rotate it down, scale it down quite a lot. We might end it something like that. Okay. And then I'm um, just going to hit Z to go out of wireframe mode for a second and then just reposition these verts 
as required. Okay, cool. Now I wanna, so we've now created the insides of the character's mouth. So to finish off, we wanna uh, add the character's tongue. So to do that, just go ahead and go back into wireframe mode. Actually, wait, before I do that, let's just fill up these faces. Better to do it here than to do it later. So fill that up. Maybe fill this up as well, and finally fill that one up as well. Cool. Okay, now just select uh, those faces. I know the normals don't look correct, it looks a bit dark, but that's actually correct for our view because we, we only see from the front of the view. We never see this view in our model, so that it's okay that the normals don't face this way. Okay, go back to wireframe mode and side view, and then extrude out, and now bring it upwards like so. And then uh, from the back view, I'm just going to maybe bring it down a little, bring it up a little, something like that, and then extrude once more, rotate it around, scale it down a little, and I'm coming from the back view, just move it in on the x-axis a little bit, like so. And to finish off, extrude once more, scale it down a lot, and bring it in quite a bit, like so. Alright, so that's looking good. Now I'm just going to go ahead and select this edge here of the, of the tongue, right in front of the tongue. And then move it out on the Y. I'll also enable proportional editing and smooth it will be fine. Let's scroll it down and try to create this kind of an arch shape to the tongue. Like that. And that will complete the tongue. Actually not really complete the tongue quite yet. I'm going to go ahead and select the middle of the tongue. Oops, sorry. Like so. Just right down the middle of the line. And just move it down on the Z axis a little bit. I'll turn off proportional editing for this one. Okay, once you moved it down a little, I just want to go ahead and select maybe these two verts and move it in on the x axis and add a little bit of height. And that will complete the tongue. Okay, so that's, that's pretty much it to creating the insides of the mouth. That's pretty much what our mouth will look like. Okay, so now I will call the mouth done. Uh, next up, the eyes. Okay, for the eyes, um, all I'm simply going to do is add the give the eyes a bit of thickness. So it just ends up just like that for now. I'm just going to go ahead and select that uh, loop over here. And then just going to go E and then move it on the Y axis. And then after that, I'm just going to go ahead and press E again, and then scale on the z-axis. From the front, S on the x-axis, and that's about it. So that will complete the eye. Simple as that. But I'm also going to further go ahead and define the shape of the eye. So let's just turn off hidden uh, limit selection to visible. And let's uh, add a little bit more, uh, a bit more of a protrusion. make it look distinctly like an eyelid okay let's move that in there let's move this one back a little now we get to perfect the eye that something that we couldn't really do that well in um, sculpt mode. Anything that you, you missed out in sculpt mode, now is the best time to fix it up in um, in edit mode. Okay, so I'll just fix up the eye just like that. I'll add in a little bit of a tear duct over here. Got a face select it in a little ok 
Okay. So that's looking good. Um, and also I might just add in for the eyebrows. I, I might just add in uh, perhaps one more loop over here, like so, and then select these edges here and add in a slight overhang to the eyelids. Maybe even that one as well. Let's make it come out a little bit. This one can go in. So something that looks like that. Oops. Let's make the eye eyebrows bulge out a little bit more than that. So I think we're just making the only reason why I'm putting a bit more attention on the eyes is because it's one of the main things that the uh, that the viewer looks at when uh, they look at a character. It's one of the first things that they look at. So it's important that we grab the uh, viewer's attention straight away. Uh, yeah, I think that's looking good. Maybe for the feet, we can do some last minute changes. making a good progress at this stage so again uh, drop everything pat yourself on the back grab yourself a cup of coffee and uh, we will come back in the next video we will start to rig texture and do all of that other fun stuff the hard stuff is already done so now it's now it's on to the fun stuff if you'd rather just get the completed 3d model please click on the link below and also please subscribe like and share and I hope to see you in the next video